So this morning I thought I'd do a quick update video on the, the Q100 system here and um, just an update on um, how I'm running FT8 and um, how we're connecting it to an iPad. Um, this is obviously the, the sharp end of things, the dish end. A lot of people have seen this before. Um, it's got a potty antenna here uh, for transmit and then a modified um, low noise block LMB um, on the receive side. Notice there's three cables going into here. There's obviously the transmit uh, cable here, um, the LMB um, LO reference cable, and the actual um, output from the LMB itself. Bring you around the, uh, the business end. Obviously, because of the frequencies involved, all the amplification um, at the 2.4 gigs needs to be kept locally. So in this box here, um, I've got the uh, the up converter in here, which is currently up converting uh, two meters, 144 megahertz, uh, and that is um, coming into this amplifier here, which is uh, up converting it, or sorry, amplifying it up to about three watts. And um, you can also see the uh, reference signal coming in. And uh, in fact, I've got a green and a blue LED on there, it means there's power to it, and the um, LO is locked. So uh, that's what happens at the business end. This is a short video just to show how I've um, updated the Cure 100 system here and um, automated the FT8 process for it as well. So um, I'm running the um, IC9700 um, for both up and down link. Um, you can see it's going up on to two meters and uh, down linking on 23 sems. And, um, that's all been handled by these couple of little devices, the um, down converter, which is the, uh, the unit underneath uh, that unit there, um, which is also uh, GPS locked to the GPS DO above, um, which is deriving a stable um, and accurate time source from the, um, actually from the, um, the standard uh, GPS um, uh, satellites, in fact the Russian ones as it happens in this instance. And um, it's uh, stabilizing the, um, the up converter um, outside as well uh, by the antenna. Um, the uh, 9700 itself is stabilized with the Leo Bodner mod, which you can't see, but it's in the back of the radio. So that's also stable. And then I'm um, actually running that into my iPad, which is um, doing the um, well, doing the FD8 and also doing the up conversion, you can see I've actually got that's the actual real um, uplink frequency to 2.4000040000 megahertz, and um, the uh, waterfall switches back and forth. It for some reason it stopped trying it stopped putting the um, the down converted uh, frequency on there, but it is picking it up from the radio. I'm not sure why that's doing that, it was working earlier. I'll look into that, and then um. FT8 process on here now is um, just uh, fully automated. You basically just leave it and it just logs all the QSOs into the logbook and then um, later on we can just um, download an ADF file um, to QRZ or to logbook of your choice and it's done. So yeah, it's a sort of fully automated FT8 QSO machine for a Q100. There you go. See the um, down downlink converted signals from the satellite. There's one coming in now. There's a few others. It's actually quite busy this morning. I'm still calling CQ, but uh, yeah, I picked up a few earlier on. Let's see what others come in. Oh, here comes. Uh, well, that's somebody overloading the satellite, and the alarm goes off. Somebody's using a bit too much power. Hopefully it's not me. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of an update. Um, now I've got the settings right so that it's uh, displaying the downlink frequency here and the uh, uplink frequency there. Um, also, it's pulling off the labels of the cluster, you can see on the uh, waterfall. And uh, where the red line is is where I'm actually transmitting. So that's actually working quite well now. Um, it's a little bit buggy still. You see it's just running through a um, for QSO here now with this uh, Norwegian guy, LA7 XK Lima Alpha 7 X Ray Kilo, just saying 7 threes to him. So, uh, yeah, that's really working well, man. I think um, I can 
consider that completed and successful. Got a strange thing here where it keeps going back to sub. I want main. I want to be able to see my downlink uh, signal uh, rather than the uplink signal. It's not particularly useful. But uh, apart from that, tiny little uh, problems working well. Nice having the uh, cluster information on there as well. So a little reflection off the screen here. And that, as I say, is that. And so, um, just had a QSO with Delta Papa Zero Golf Victor November. Which sounds like a fairly innocuous German um, QSO there. What's quite interesting is um, if I select map, you see all the European, almost entirely European contacts today. Apart from this one, just keep on going. And down there, in the north of Antarctica, is uh, Delta Papa Zero Golf Victor November. Um, so, yeah, that's quite a good end to the uh, experiment, really. Not sure how far away that is. I'd say quite a long way. <laughs> 5,000 miles, perhaps. I'll have to check. So just added the uh, Delta Papa Zero Golf Victor November into the logbook. Uh, New Mayor Station 3 in Atka Bay, Druning Maudland, Antarctica. Actually um, nearly 14,000 kilometres away. Of course we went long path via the satellite so that would be 72,000 kilometres away. <laughs> just another way of looking at it. And uh, there it is in all its resplendent glory. That's a live webcam pic, so that's how it looks right now. Um, of course, it's summer there, so uh, I think it's a balmy minus 20 at the moment. Probably a bit more pleasant than here. <laughs>